Hey everybody, welcome to topic 2.3, population composition. In this lecture, we're going to learn about the ways that the world's population is made out of age structure and sex ratio. Okay, so to be specific, this is what we're going to learn. We're going to learn about how patterns of age structure and sex ratio vary across the different regions of the world and how they can be mapped and analyzed at different scales. All this means is that geographers look at the way the world's population ages and then they look at the gender of, of population and the way that it's uh, balanced between males and females. And we look at it at a variety of scales and we look at it on a variety of maps. Okay, so here's how we do this kind of situation. So geographers use data of age, for instance, to map out where in the world are people's uh, younger and where are they older. So in this case, on this map, the median age in years is represented by a dark or light shade of blue. So the darkest is the youngest. As you can tell, the darkest is 10 to 15 years old and the lightest is 45 to 50 years old. So what this already tells us at this scale, at the global scale, is that there are areas like, for example, Africa that have a very young population, while areas that are not in that region don't have such a young population. For purposes of being specific, here's what I mean. Africa, youngest in general, and other parts of the world, a little older in general, okay? When I say in general, it just means that not everybody in that country is that same age. There are people that are older and there are people that are younger, but that's the median age, okay? So when we look at those patterns at the global scale, we see that that's the truth. But if we kind of zoom in and we look at the regional scale, we see a different story. For example, the Northern part of Africa has a older population and the uh, part of Africa that is south of the Sahara Desert has a younger population. Okay, this can tell us a variety of things and we can explain it also in a variety of ways. Well, one way we can explain this difference is in the level of economic development. Economic development is something that we will get into later, but for the purposes of this video, you should know that the more economically developed the country is, the older its population in general and the younger a population is, that means that that country is probably not so much developed economically. Okay, so remember, high economic development, usually older, lower economic development, usually younger. Okay, I say usually because there are always exceptions. Uh, as geographers look at these uh, kinds of data, they can help us uh, infer and they can help us solve a lot of problems as well. All right, so for instance, one problem that a elderly population may face is that they may need uh, certain kinds of health care, um, geriatric care we call it, so that's care for the elderly. While countries like these in Africa, for instance, might not need that much geriatric care, but they might need more pediatric care, which is care for children in health care, and they may need also, for example, primary education services or services for children of school age. So these countries might want to invest a lot more in those kinds of programs than in programs that are aimed at the elderly. Okay. Now, geographers will also look at the sex ratio of the world's population, which means that it's the number of males per 100 females in a country. So in this case, on this map, the ratio is represented by three different colors. The pink means that the ratio of males is lower than females or that the females uh, ratio is higher than male. The green color means that the ratio is equal and the blue color means that the male ratio is higher than that of females or the ratio of males to females. Now one thing you need to know is that there's also a gray color that means that we have no data for those regions. So when we look at the world like this it tells a certain story. For instance, it could tell us that in the Western Hemisphere, the majority of people or the average or the ratio of females is higher than males. But it's an incomplete story because we're looking at it at a regional scale, right? Now, if we kind of go a little more local and we kind of zoom into the Caribbean and Central and South America, it tells us a whole different story. For instance, it tells us that this is not so uniform as we thought it was. It tells us that in Central America, for instance, uh, the ratios are either equal or there's more males and females. 
and this can this can help us in a variety of ways as geographers and in one way it can help us is it can help us understand healthcare issues so healthcare issues for countries that have more males than females might involve taking care of men that have uh, degenerative degenerative diseases that affect them more than females or at a higher rate than females and in countries where there are more females, there might be more need, for example, for maternal care or maternity uh, services. So governments might focus their energy on paying for things like uh, time off for women who are having their babies. Okay, so the main idea here in this video was that the way that we map out and we analyze uh, population around the world can be divided into either the age structure or the sex ratio. That's the main important idea of this video.